Hey everybody, it's Roberto. And in today's video, I'm actually gonna let you on a secret that most photographers will not tell you. So there's absolutely an imperative secret to photography that usually is never spoken aloud and is constantly overlooked. And that is simply this. Perfect settings do not matter. Perfect camera equipment does not matter. You don't have to worry about any of that. You only have to worry about one thing as a photographer, and that is capturing the moment. Capturing the moment and making capturing the moment a priority is the difference between professional photographers and amateurs. If it's a little grainy or noisy because of low light, that's going to be much less important to the client than you just not getting the shot at all or it being too dark. People will live with a photo with some noise in it rather than something that is completely underexposed. Prioritize capturing the moments that matter if you're shooting an event. If you have to, do not be afraid at a wedding or at a concert to set your camera to auto. I recommend doing this in events anyway, just because you need to focus on the moments. You need to focus on being able to not miss anything and to make sure that you're getting great shots and this will let you focus on composition. This is something that you should be doing, especially if you're just starting out as a DSLR photographer. You should be in auto mode and focusing on learning good composition and just good camera etiquette in general. Shooting in auto and reviewing the settings and why the camera made specific decisions will also help you when you wanna do manual shooting to understand what the camera was prioritizing and why. If there's a reason that you do need to control something very specific, like aperture, then by all means, turn the camera to aperture mode and control that aspect of it. Maybe you need to be creating shallow depth of field. So go ahead and turn it to aperture mode, control the depth of field, and let the camera control everything else so that you can focus on composition instead of focusing on adjusting your camera settings every moment. I prefer to manually white balance my shots, but if you're in a place for whatever reason has variable lighting conditions, different lighting conditions, or you're gonna constantly going indoors or outdoors, just go ahead and set the white balance to auto. It's fine, it's not a big deal. And again, you can adjust a lot of these things in your post-production, especially if you're shooting camera raw, which is something you should be doing anyway. So again, big professional secret, focus specifically on capturing great moments and accomplishing great composition in your shots and don't focus so much or be obsessed with your settings. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful and educational. Like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other YouTube videos in my channel. And as always, thanks for watching.